Well, hey guys, I just wanted to do a little vlog, let you guys know what we've done in the first day of our trip here in Eureka Springs, since I'm able to do that, and I'll explain later. Um, first of all, on the way here, I did take some pictures from Little Rock on the way um, here to Eureka Springs. Now, I didn't get pictures of the prettiest sites that we saw. Um, we're going to go back in the same direction and I'm going to try to get the pictures then of the prettiest sites that we saw. Uh, some from some of the lookouts and things like that. So um, then when we got here, uh, none of the other family was here yet. Papa and them didn't show up until after we had our lunch. Um, so we killed a little time, uh, we drove around to see what was here, and then we went over to the statue there at the uh, Passion Play area, I got some really good pictures of the famous statue there, and then we decided to come back over here to the hotel, they still weren't here, so we went and had lunch at the restaurant right next door. And then when we came out, Pop and them were here. Well, the others still had not shown up, and we weren't expecting um, his sister and our brother-in-law until um, after 5 o'clock. So we went and drove around, went and looked over at the downtown area, and um, Kirk and I had already looked at the prices. We want to do the um, train ride tomorrow. So we went to look at the prices and things like that. We told Pop and them about it, so we drove by there as well. And then we decided, well, we were going to meet, everybody meet over at McDonald's. Well, his brother Derek and um, our sister-in-law Dixie, anyway, was going to meet us there at McDonald's. So, um, our next thing that we did, we went back over here to the hotel and let the kids enjoy the pool for a little while. Cheyenne did pretty good. At first, though, she went ahead and she jumped in. She didn't want to wait for Mommy to get in the pool. And she did go down for a little while. But amazingly, it didn't even scare her. She didn't cry. She didn't get a circle or anything. And as we were playing in the pool, she got to laying on her back and kicking her legs. And, you know, really enjoying it. She really clung to me a lot, though, still. Understandably. But she wasn't afraid. I was surprised. Um, then, um, Kirk's brother, Derek, is pretty good at computers, so he helped me to check out, um, here in the hotel, I'm able to get my computer and everything online, but, uh, we still weren't able to figure out what's going on with my Vista when I upload, um, my videos and everything, it plays back just fine. But when I import them to the Windows Movie Maker to edit them, there's nothing but sound. So I still can't edit my videos right now. So what you'll see for now is unedited videos, at least till I get home, and then I can download them and put all the pictures that I have and everything together and make a more interesting video or videos. And then last we went to the Passion Play. It was awesome, you guys. I recommend it. If you're ever in Eureka Springs, Arkansas, you've got to go see the Passion Play. It's outdoor, and the whole entire stage area is like a real city. I mean, like the whole city laid out. And um, <laughs> it went for a very long time. Cheyenne was very restless. She had not had much of a nap at all and she was really tired and restless and it was difficult but we enjoyed it in spite of that and then when we went out into the parking lot it was so cool I mean I was big kid of me I'd never seen a walking stick before so needless to say the kids were playing with the walking stick and I got some couple pictures or so of the walking stick <laughs> And one of the kids ended up with the walking stick on his head. So I got a picture of that. Um, before everybody leaves, I like to try to get pictures of uh, at least some of the kids and, you know, some of the family and things. But 
Um, there's not a whole lot to see here. Uh, there's the Passion Play, the Riding Train. Um, there's a church that I want to go by and take pictures of that is just very unique. When you see it, you'll understand. Um, but there's cabins and um, lodges and inns that are just beautifully decorated just outrageous and that's most of what was here there's all down the street there's nothing but all these lodges and cabins and uh hotel inns and whatnot and they're very elaborate uh i think we're staying at the or what used to be the holiday inn and it's still like the holiday inn it's really nice really really nice so um that's what we've done so far. So y'all be blessed and I'll vlog and let you guys know what we do tomorrow. What to look forward to seeing in my videos. Um, the pictures rather because you can't see the video, the video of pictures yet because I didn't bring my USB cord. So y'all be blessed and um, I'm having a great time. I totally recommend taking this trip, you know, just for the weekend and or, or then, you know, go to Branson, and spend time in Branson. It's not far from here either. So be blessed, you guys. I'll see y'all tomorrow.